Taller Restauro y Conservación. Obras de Arte. Fine Art Restoration and Conservation Studio. Commemorating the 25th anniversary of the Festival de México, Mexico City's Metropolitan Cathedral opens its doors to us and gives us the motive for this year's restoration work. Christ in glory and majesty surrounded by musician angels by master painter Cristóbal de Villalpando. This is an enormous oil painting on canvas. 5.70 by 3.10 meters, made by painter Cristóbal de Villalpando in 1684. This work is a mystery, since there is evidence of a contract given to the painter on the 28th of April 1684, in which he agreed to make a painting for the San Jose Chapel. He would be paid 600 pesos of common gold in reales, including work, people, canvas, stretcher, and fine colors, to be finished by June 20th of that year. Is this our painting? In modern times, our painting was found at the chapter house of the cathedral, out of place, which we know because its midpoint does not match the wall it hangs on. Moreover, we know that during the disastrous 1967 fire in the cathedral, the redemption altarpiece was lost, and with it, its backside that faced the choir, along with some of the seats. It was then when the altarpiece was carved anew, with the aid of old photographic documents. Both sides, north and south, were thus remade. The frame was carved again where the painting had been, but since remaking the painting was as impossible as unthinkable, the painting, that is our topic today, was chosen to bedeck that space. The theme of this painting is the musician angels, reason for which it was a perfect fit for the choir area. However, the painting had already been intervened several times. The first reason for this was its age. Surviving 350 years is no mean feat. Tears, patches, blackened lacquers and repaints cover the painting. Additionally, it was exhibited in a truly precarious way, held by a nail and a piece of wire facing the altarpiece. This painting is different in shape, size and subject matter from the original. Therefore, we were to make this clear and to separate the painting from the altarpiece, giving each its own relevance and importance. Let us now speak of the present moment and see how the painting was taken down to be transported to the workshop. We knew it was not going to be easy, so our first challenge when we started working on our task was that we found ourselves in a truly complex location to work in the choir hallway. It is very narrow and surrounded by delicate elements that cannot be touched. The sheer size of the painting is imposing and its frailty demands extreme caution. Once we have brought the painting down, it is carefully packaged to be transported to the workshop. Our task at the workshop is intricate. It's delicate and difficult. Additionally, to always taking into account international regulations regarding works of art, any changes must be reversible. We did a Dutch type canvas replacement using extremely fine linen brought from Holland. We used a single piece of canvas that spans the complete original support, which consisted of five pieces stitched together. These pieces became looser and got torn with time. Now, with the added support of a new canvas, they will survive many more years without setbacks. We can now see the painting as the artist originally painted it. Without additions or darkened lacquers, 
ravished its color, the lightness of the trace, and the subject matter. The technical processes the painting went through took us 10 months. And if the request in the artist's contract is true, the fact is he painted it in only two months. It is worth mentioning that restoration is the hardest of the tasks. Cristóbal de Villalpando was born in Mexico City in 1649 and died in 1714. At that time, the compositions were crafted using European engravings as their bases, but we know who the painters are due to their use of line and color, and we see Villalpando improving no less than on Rubens and Tiziano, says José Bernardo Couto. Also, to quote the noteworthy historian Carrillo y Gariel, speaking of his line, he observes, his pleats are elegant and distinguish themselves from those of his painter colleagues by the ductility of the textiles, especially in the angels, where a great number and prolific variety of pleats are piled up. The shape we find crowning the scene, Christ in glory and majesty, is not energetic, but rather sweet, contemplative, and serene. The angel theme moves us to theological and artistic reflection, as we are always curious to know about these characters and their various meanings. To this regard, Sor Juana said, I never understand when they are seraphs and when caribs. We don't either. However, research has shown us that there are nine celestial choirs, Seraphims, Caribins, Thrones, Principalities, Archangels, Angels, Dominions, and Virtues. Our painter makes them blonde, their hair in curly cues, with flying garments and ravishing skies, for which he deserves being the paladin of Baroque art. Let us imagine one of Villalpando's Archangels dressing up to go on stage. He must take a long time simply to arrange his jewels and pleats and intricate garments. Traveling the road of restoration, we found that this painting, due to its change of position and to the various occasions when it was transported, was now lacking a frame to clothe it. For that reason, we choose to give it an adequate frame for it to crown its new spot. The Pliego family took charge of this task, designing a beautiful oaken hand-carved frame covered in gold leaf, in the original style. It is worth mentioning that there are ever less people who can do this sort of job, as so much refinement and style are no longer the norm. However, this family put their best efforts into it, as is evidenced by the way in which the frame seems colossal and heavy from up close. Yet, when mounted and placed on its spot, it becomes a thin ribbon that finally surrounds the painting. Mounting the canvas on its new oak and aluminum stretcher requires skill and strength. The retouch finish and lacquer application that protect the painting from polluting fumes crowns the effort. We now have to mount the stretcher on the frame and think of the difficult process of hanging the painting on its place. It now weighs around 500 kilograms. The maneuver begins early in the morning and is carried out by the experts in charge of cultural heritage sites and monuments from Conaculta and concludes successfully. Now in its new place, Christ in glory and majesty surrounded by musician angels will be seen for many years to come. And future generations will wonder at the great genius of Cristóbal de Villalpán.